Hello, we are the Marmolejos and here we are again. I know that we have been away quite some time and you may be wondering what happened to this movement of us becoming missionaries? Well, our work with WGM continues and is thriving. There was an unforeseen event that has been a blessing for our lives, our family and our ministry. At the beginning of the year, I was going to take my dad to a clinic for some tests but I was surprised that Wednesday when he told me, you know what, son, take me to the hospital. And it was just in time. He was close of having a diabetic coma. And later that day, he was diagnosed with influenza, which caused him pneumonia. As the days went by, his lungs began to tire and they had to put him on a breathing machine. At times he seemed to improve, but almost a week after being hospitalized, he had to be intubated. During and after the procedure, he had cardiac arrest. Life expectancy was low and getting worse as the hours passed. They even allowed us to say goodbye. The doctor said that he wouldn't make it past the evening or night. The Word of God says, His mercies are new every morning. And one day at a time, his condition remained critical and we had hope praying among the family and church. As the weeks passed, it was determined that it was best to perform a tracheostomy so that he could wake up. And during the procedures, his lungs and heart failed again. The procedure had to be performed a couple times as new complications seemed to appear. And finally, my dad woke up slowly. He told us how agonizing it was that he had even given up. His strength was not enough, but a voice, the voice of God, told him, you will have another chance, another opportunity. His recovery after waking up has been slow because at the beginning he could not even move a finger. And today dad is at home and hoping to soon be able to stand up and walk. As a family, our ministry was reaffirmed in service. There were many opportunities to evangelize with relatives, of other patients, with family, with friends, and with the medical staff. We pause a trip to find ministry allies. Today, we press play again and begin the walk by thanking you for your prayers, your support, your words, messages, and the opportunity to resume the plan that God has given us to impact the community of Irapuato here in Mexico. If you want to be an active ally, send us a message to include you on our prayer group or scan the code to make a one-time or a monthly contribution. On behalf of the Marmolejos, we thank God and thank you and blessings.